Hi everybody, my name is Dark Pro. I'm a Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Speedrunner. Uh, we are here in Cannon's Core, Knuckles section. Um, this is a fairly problematic section for a lot of new people uh, to all stories or to last story because it involves a lot of swimming and it's incredibly difficult if you don't have um, the air necklace for Knuckles. It's made a lot easier by that. However, there is a trick we can use to get around this. Um, it's a long, time-consuming section and we want to skip it. So that's what we're going to do. Basically what's going to happen is we are going to use this crazy red ring right here to clip out of bounds and uh, then we can fly directly to the end. It's very similar to the EE skip but the way that we get the clip out is somewhat different. Uh, first I'll show you what we use to get the clip out. Uh, this corner here, in fact this entire red ring, is kind of weird with the way Knuckles moves. It's covered in flats and angles that Knuckles movement doesn't really like. So if I just cram myself in this corner like this, you can see the game doesn't really like what I'm doing. It really wants to pitch me out of the level, but it doesn't quite enough have, have the power, except if you do that. So that was just me holding the correct direction on the control stick. It's not really reliable, but it does happen. I'll try to show you a more consistent way of doing that. So you saw how kind of how I ended up in there, that I'm going to actually get inside the red ring, between the red ring and the water, and then from there I won't be able to collide with any of these walls. I'll be able to go straight through all of them. And so I'm going to use that to get out of bounds, and from there we can either swim or glide to the end. So, the way that I found it's uh, kind of easy to, to do this is... I'm just going to fly around a bit as though I just started the stage and let the camera do what it wants of its own free will. So then I'm going to place myself right in this corner. And so the way that I do this is a little bit progressive. So what I want to do is I want to follow the line of this wall and use that as my direction for the control stick. So basically from this angle I'd be up with some, a little bit of left. It's not working. That's okay, that's part of the plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my right trigger and just barely tap it to bring the camera a little over to the right. And I'm going to try it again. So I'll give it a tiny tap and I'm going to try it again. Again using this wall as my uh, marking stick. I want to go the direction of this wall. So up with a little bit of left. Again, it's not working. That's not surprising. I'm going to give it another tap. Come on. There we go. Try it again. Nope. Another tap. It's getting there. Oh. There we go. So that's typically what it takes is one or two little tiny taps. So you can see now I'm actually inside this red ring. I'm between the red ring and the wall. If you don't have the air necklace, you would drown if you stayed in this water for too long. I am underwater and actually swimming. You just can't see it, but you can see my shadow there. I'm just kind of hanging out. So now that I'm out of bounds, I can go through all these walls. So I'm going to go out to the right, and the camera's going to glitch out on the wall for a bit. But be, I'll, to explain what's happening is I'm going to move to the right here off until I hear that I'm not swimming anymore, and then I'm going to double tap A so that I start gliding. And after that, I'm just going to sling around the camera using the L and R buttons until it kind of resets. And then I'll get my bearings. So here we go. I'm going to get out of bounds fully. Here we go. I'm swimming. Okay. Now I'm totally out of bounds. So I'm going to fly alongside the stage here. And you can see it's being a bit weird. There we go. So here's the end room. So I'm going to slip into this just by swimming through. And suddenly here we are. So if I swim down here, boop, and that is the Knuckles clip. Uh, basically, the skip is consistent, I think, like the, the uh, Eternal Engine clip, it's just a difficult setup. So that's how that clip works. Give it a try, see how it works. It's kind of a quick and dirty way of doing it, but uh, I, I found that if you play with the camera, just slowly bring it to the right, uh, you get a feel for what it is. Now that I've gotten used to it, I do two tidy taps and then I go into the corner and it usually works first time. Uh, you'll get a feel for it, so uh, give it a shot. I think you can do it. Yeah. My name is Darpro. Have a good time.